the spring football in <laughs> Yeah. What's been what's your life been like since then? Uh so I tore my knee for the second time on Christmas out in California and I came back here and had surgery. Um, stayed here for about eight months in rehab, did all that stuff, took it slow just to see what would happen. Uh, it was going well and it healed up, so went out to Arizona for about three and a half months to do more physical therapy and uh, trained with somebody out there. And then come beginning of January, I headed back home and I uh, was training with somebody out there for pro day. So, is that Michigan? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So how's how do you feel right now? I feel good. Yeah. I mean, my knee doesn't bother me at all, so it's just nice to be able to come out here and run again and actually get a shot and see what happens. I was gonna say it's been a while. You're probably chomping the bit just to get back into that football mode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been about two years now since I've played, so I was good to come out here with the guys and run around and uh, feel pretty good. So. Do you, do you feel like you came back too early? I know you, when you hurt your knee, it was in April, right at mm -hmm. the end of spring ball, and then you, then you were kind of playing towards the end of the year. Was it too early in hindsight, or was it just uh, Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, the second time, it took about a whole year for it to heal up, and I mean, at that point, it was like four months when I started playing again, so probably took it a little too fast, but mm -hmm. I mean, it was my senior season. I was trying to get back out there, so not much you can do about it now. And I'm sure seeing the way the team was succeeding that year, you were probably yeah. like, I can't believe I'm still stuck out here. Yeah, it stunk, but I mean, it was fun to be out there with those guys no matter what. So, so what, have been, what have you been doing to pass the time other than working out? Uh, waiting so, for your knee to heal? I mean, I got part time jobs wherever I was. When I was in Iowa City, I was driving for order up, delivering food. And um, when I was in, out in Phoenix, I was driving for Lyft, doing that. Nice. Um, and then when I moved back home, I got a job with Field and Stream, which is like a Bass Pro Shops, and uh, was just doing stuff there. So, was there ever a time where you said, eh, "Maybe I'm not going to pursue football anymore"? Was it always in the back of your mind that you were going to um, give it a shot? I mean, right when it happened for the second time, uh, the doctors didn't know what was going to happen, so I was like, "All right, well, we'll see." Um, either way, I was going to be all right with it. But after a while, uh, my knee started feeling really good, and I was like, "I got to give it one more shot." So. What's your best left story uh, as a left driver? There's quite a few. I mean, getting some of those guys <laughs> late at night, a uh, little bit rowdy in the car, but nothing too bad. So what kind of meetings have you had? I mean, have you had many conversations with scouts or? You know? uh, not a whole lot. Um, I think they wanted to make sure that I could come out here and, and run again and mm -hmm. do what I used to be able to do on the football field. So kind of have to see what happens from here and and then we'll figure it all out. So you'd be a free agent, right? Yep, yeah. so I can't get drafted. Yeah. I was only draft eligible last year, so. Would you put up some good numbers? Yeah, um, I ran the 40 and the 462, like 416 pro agility, um, jumped 34, bench 23, so mm -hmm. felt pretty good doing everything. And that's after a year as a take it basic, I don't, you probably trained a lot and kept yeah. in shape, right? What did, what did, you, what, what did you do to keep in shape? Uh, I mean, Were you able to I was work here. Yeah, so I was working out here for about eight months. Went out to Arizona, trained out there, and then also trained back home in Michigan. So I've been keeping at it ever since I got hurt. But so you kept the dream alive, basically. You always yeah. had that. It was always there. Yeah. Didn't know what was going to happen, but finally made it back. So we'll see what happens.